This lesson is about dividing two-digit numbers. Now, when we divide two-digit numbers, we can remember the saying, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? So, when we think about does, we're going to remember that the D stands for divide. When we think about McDonald's, we're going to remember that the M stands for multiply, sell, the S stands for subtract, cheese, the C stands for compare, and burgers, the B stands for bring down. And then once you've done all that, you just start right back over at the beginning and keep going. So let's try this out. We have 56 divided by 4. So the first thing we're going to do is divide. So I'm going to divide the tens first. 5 divided by 4. I can put 4 into 5 one time. So I'm going to write down my 1. Then I multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Compare. Is my 1 smaller than my 4? It is in this case, so I'm good to go. And then I bring down. I bring down my 6. And then 4 will go into 16 four times. Now see, I got all the way to the bottom, so now I'm starting back at the top with divide. Now I multiply. 4 times 4 is 16. S subtract. 16 minus 16 is 0. Compare. 0 is smaller than 4, and there's nothing left to bring down, so I'm finished. Let's try another one. This problem is 88 divided by 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the tens. 5 will go into 8 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. Now I'm going to subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. I'm going to compare. 3 is smaller than 5, so I'm good there. And then I bring down. I bring down my 1's. And then I divide again. Now I'm going to think, how many times can 5 go into 38? I think it's going to go 7 times. So 7 times 5 is 35. So I just multiplied, so now I'm ready to subtract. 38 minus 35 is 3. Now I compare. Is 3 smaller than 5? Yes, 3 is smaller than 5. I don't have anything left to bring down, so this is just my remainder. So my answer is 17 remainder 3. All right, we're going to do one last problem. 74 divided by 2. First thing I do is divide. I'm going to divide my 10s. 2 will go into 7 three times. Now I multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Compare. My 1 is smaller than my 2, so I'm okay. And then I bring down. I bring my 4 down. So now I have 14. Now I start back up at the top here. I divide. 2 will go into 14. Seven times. I know my math facts. I know seven times two equals 14. So multiply. Seven times two equals 14. Subtract. I end up with zero. 14 minus 14 is zero. Compare. Zero is smaller than two. And there's nothing left to bring down. And I have no remainder. So my answer is 37.